What is going on guys, Coach Joe here at the Lion's Den. In this video, we're actually gonna do two things. First one being, I'm gonna take you through a leg day that's straight out of my eight week hypertrophy program, which is the number one selling program on zapstrength.net. So if you're looking for hypertrophy gains, it's a push, pull, leg, split twice per week, so six total days. Uh, and you guys can run through this, you can make some adjustments or run it straight through as it is. But for today, for the leg day, we're gonna do uh, squat variation it says high bar or low bar for me with my bicep. We're gonna do SSB. We have Romanian deadlifts. I haven't tried those yet with my bicep, so I think I'm gonna actually implement those Ukrainian deadlifts uh, that we did in a previous video, which are fantastic. So just a substitute for myself. Uh, we got some split squats, and then there's some optional uh, core work if you want to do it. If not, you're gonna have those three leg movements for your leg day, and it's gonna be killer. We're also gonna go through some of my tattoos. A lot of you guys have been asking. You know, what do my tattoos mean? You know, kind of wanted to see more of my artwork, where I got my art done. So as we're going through the leg day, I'm just gonna talk about some of my tattoos, the stories behind them, if there are any, and that's what we have on tap. So let's get right to it, guys. I'm gonna start warming up for some squats. It's gonna be a good session, let's go. So uh, we're doing three sets, 10 reps, RPE seven to eight, okay? So meaning that we should be able to do about two or three more reps after that 10th rep. Uh, a lot of people ask me, you know, warm-ups, how do I go about my warm-ups? Uh, honestly, I just take, you know, solid jumps. So I'll do empty barbell for a few sets of uh, 10 to 15 reps, and then I'll just go plate jumps, you know? So I'll put on one plate, the next set, two plates, three plates, you know, and as the weight gets heavier, okay, there'll be more incremental jumps, maybe 25s, 10s, etc. In terms of rest time between my warm ups, it's really just the time it takes me to rack the bar, swap the plates, and I get right back to the bar. Uh, reason being one is it's getting my heart rate up, so I'm getting a little bit out of breath, getting a lot of blood flow, and two, it's just not going to take forever, right? Time is very important to me, so I can't really be in here training for two and a half, three hours. So, you know, I look at warm ups as something I try to keep moving pretty quickly, and then I save my rest for my main sets uh, when I need a little bit more time to help my body recover. get the heart rate up it's like it's not reading anything it just is dead bro yeah is this heaven so first I still talk about is the one I always forget about actually and uh, it's this quote right here and I always forget about it because there's so much other stuff going on and it says the pain you feel today is the strength you feel tomorrow so you know, it's kind of a constant reminder of the things that we go through, right? Although they may be tough, they are going to make us grow, okay? Callous us a little bit to be able to come back and be a stronger version of ourselves. Little did I also know, it kind of is like muscle fibers, right? The pain that we feel during these squats, right? And just all the effort we have to put into and the soreness that we're feeling is going to transform us uh, by growing back even stronger. So from the perspective of life and then this perspective of training that's a cool quote and uh you know it's something that i always take with me as i go through life In terms of rest for these, we're taking you know three to four minutes. There's a couple variables. You know, one is your heart rate calm down. Okay, so if my heart rate is super elevated, you know I don't want to hop right back into another set of squats. You know, so let your heart rate come down to where you feel comfortable. Uh, can you do at least a set of five? You know, with whatever weights on the bar, just to still get the proper stimulus and are you mentally prepared so it's kind of my checklist and my ready to hit my next set you know if you wait too long 
mentally you may not be involved with it or, or into it and if you're too short you could just be gassed out and at the same time uh, not mentally in it as well so happy medium for me it's going to be that three to four uh, minute mark depending on what I'm doing but for three sets of ten you know with this weight uh, like I said probably three and a half minutes is going to be my rest time. now next tattoo we're going to talk about everybody always asks me uh, do you have Hungarian descent and yes I do uh, my grandfather uh, actually his grandparents came from the boats uh, over to the states and the name Zatmary was actually spelled slightly different than it is with what you guys see with me uh, but they had to change it when they came to the states like a new fresh start so the name is Hungarian however on the other side of my family uh, they are Polish so uh, the name is Zimnok so I got the family crest for the Zimnok family right here and uh, it has two lions which is pretty cool and then there's Poland and then the lion on top I actually just added just to make it look a little bit cooler uh, but between his mouth it actually had Zimnok it's a little bit faded because I got this tattoo almost 10 years ago uh, but that's one of my favorite tattoos near and dear to my heart because my family my my heritage there uh, but for anybody that always asks you know is your last name Hungarian yes it is uh, so just a fun fact for you I keep like I have this habit of pulling my shorts up and I keep like going to do it but this is why I bought these shorts one because I love the USA and I'm patriotic but two I don't have to pull my shorts up one of the most annoying things to me is when my shorts would get like stuck on my kneecaps when I'm trying to squat or they're like rubbing on my my thighs so that's why I got these but I have the tendency of like I'm doing it there's nothing there all right last set done squats feel really good actually feel like I probably could have went up a little bit uh, probably like 360 365 but rather leave a little in the tank and overdo it so next uh, in the program calls for RDLs uh, but I'm gonna do the uh, Ukrainian stiff leg deadlifts which are a blast so let's roll over onto those and we'll talk a little bit more about tattoos all right so next tattoo is my nerdy gamer self. So, Gears of War, one of my favorite video games of all time. I was very competitive in this game. I was actually 50th in the world for a period of time in Warzone. Uh, so, you know, I would literally go to school, come home, play for hours, you know, go to the gym, sports practice. That was that was my life for years. Uh, Gears of War, one, two, and three, absolute favorites. After that, I think it kind of went downhill. Uh, Assassin's Creed, another game near and dear to my heart I loved the original three and then they kind of took a weird dip in the middle there for a little while and now here like Valhalla uh, origins like those games now are fantastic I had to take my Xbox and put it in my parents house because I'm trying to grow my business and if I have that Xbox the business may take a little bit of a hit there so I know my limits still love and appreciate video games but where I'm at right now in my life I gotta focus on this but uh, you know I do love them last one Halo. Halo is my first uh, Xbox game I ever played. It was very impactful on me as a teenager. So much fun, you know, throwing sticky grenades at people's faces, riding around in Warthogs, you know, shooting people with sniper rifles that were insanely accurate without looking at a scope. Uh, so, yeah, so closet gamer at heart. Uh, you know, I still play a little bit here and there with my boys, but for the most part, I got to focus on the business. But if you guys like video games, comment down below. What are your favorite games? What can you really get into? Uh, on top of those games, I love RPGs. Grew up playing Diablo. One of the games I put the most hours into uh, was Oblivion, okay? So part of the Elder Scrolls franchise. And, uh, you know, Counter-Strike, 
depending on the games right now. Matt, what, 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 anything you play, Matt? Uh, Halo is my favorite one. Matt loves Halo. Um, trying to think, trying to Battlefield. Battlefield's a good one. And of course, COD, you know, Modern Warfare to me was like one of the coolest games ever. And even going back, Call of Duty 2, where you're storming the beaches, that was such a fun video game scene. Kind of reminded me of Save Private Ryan. I think I stole it directly from that movie, honestly, because it's like slow motion. Uh, but yeah, so moving on, we got some stiff leg Ukrainian deadlifts for the hamstrings. But uh, yeah, for all you nerds out there, I, uh, I can relate to you guys. So it's, it's true, you can be jacked and you can be a nerd at the same time. Show you some guys. We got creep. Keeps me true. I realize my true potential in me. You know, there's days where I don't give him my all and he won't lick me. And uh, that's when you know you're really upset your coach. I've seen people do them before, and uh, Coach Matt was doing them with our strongman class. Alan Thrall, I think, kind of made them popular because they were in like a, I think it was a Bartos program he was doing. Yeah, so um, just something different to try. When you've been in for the long haul, variations sometimes just make it fun, right? Something new for your program to try. So I've been really digging these for the hamstrings. I will say, you definitely need to control it and have a good mind-muscle connection because it's easy to kind of let the technique fall out a little bit. Um, or not really initiate with your hips as much to get that stretch in the hamstring, uh, but great exercise. Now, back to tattoos, you know, just wanna some of my artists. So, first tattoo artist I ever had, was actually a girl I knew in high school, her brother. Uh, so his name was Tom Scalise, and he did uh, my first tattoo, which is right here. So I'm an Aquarius, so it has a water theme to it. And then uh, I love the strength sign for, or the Japanese sign for strength. And this is supposed to be determination, but sometimes people say it means power uh, or something else, but you know, I don't know, I'll leave it up to interpretation. As long as it doesn't say like, butt eater, I think we're good. Um, and then uh, he also did that crest, that was Tom Scalise as well. And then I got a Peter Pan tattoo right here. That was done by him. Uh, and then some other artists that I've had is Edna Wyatt. He kind of bounces around uh, from shop to shop and uh, he went to high school with me. And then uh, I also have uh, the guy I currently use, Rich Wren, had a relic tattoo in Horsham. Absolutely phenomenal. I think he's one of the best tattoo artists uh, in the country, honestly, and a great guy. So he's done pieces like uh, my, uh, my mask here. He's done my lion eating a heart tattoo. He's done my rib piece over here, so. He's done a lot of work uh, on my body and he's someone I'll keep using for the rest of my life. So they are just some of my artists and if I give you any wisdom with tattoos, right? Because inevitably you're gonna make mistakes I think at some point. Uh, for me it was, you know, thinking I wasn't going to continue on uh, a part of my body. So if you look at my arm, I thought I'd never have a sleeve. So I cut a straight line across with my tattoo and then you can obviously see I got bit by the addiction 
and I kept going on. So for me, I think if you're gonna plant something, leave it kind of open-ended so you can add more to it. And the other thing would be plant it as like a whole piece rather than kind of doing like spot by spot or getting different artists to do different things um, that are all close together. You wanna to have all your artwork, in my mind, just look like it flows very nicely together and mostly done by the same person for that piece. So there's just some tattoo wisdom. Obviously it's your body. Do what the heck you want with it. Who am I to tell you? Uh, but that's, if I could have done anything differently, that's what I would have done uh, for myself. And lastly, this is a big one. If you don't like something, you're gonna get tattooed on you, tell them you don't like it. I have some tattoos where it did not come out as I thought it would, and as they're putting the stencil on, I was too afraid to stop it, and then once they started going, I just accepted the fate, and now I always look at it like, man, I should have should just told them to change it and come back a different day. So, there's my wisdom. Do with you what you want with it. And tattoos are awesome, I love tattoos. All right, so we got Bulgarian split squats. Uh, Matt remembers these, we just got Meadows. Seven. Come on, John, come on. Seven. Six, Push, baby, five, come on. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> Awful. I'm not gonna do what was in that video, but you can check it out and watch. Yeah, it's doing some gnarly drop sets. So, just straight sets across. We'll do 10 per leg. I like kind of having my other arm gently on the rack for support. As you guys can see here, a lot of people have stability problems with these. And uh, for me, it just makes it a little bit easier, a little bit more smooth. I'm not too concerned with my stability right now. So, we'll do 10 per leg. And I'll switch to the other leg. So Bulgarian split squats, one of my favorite exercises or assistance moves for building the quads. Lovely doing, or lovely to do during hypertrophy or strength phases. They work great for both. Um, when we're doing these, like I said, if you're using your other arm, try not to have that be what is pulling you up. It's just there as a guide. So my hand's very gently touching the rack just for a little bit of stability. Also, I'm getting full range of motion where my knee, I'm okay with touching it to the ground. If you're not, just get as close to the ground as possible. And as you're standing up, make sure you uh, stand all the way up, okay? So full ROM is always what we're looking for here. Controlling the movement, not getting too wild with it. And uh, you know, picking the proper weight to stick within uh, your RPE prescribed. So for today, we're just trying to shoot for like an RPE 8. So leaving about two in the tank. Uh, my legs are pretty fatigued, so I'm not really going to go super heavy, you know, I have like 50 pounds right now, just kind of getting blood flow to the quads, and uh, you guys are seeing what I'm doing, so take notes and throw it in your training. Man, already is jacked up. So, these are cool tattoos. They mean a lot to me, actually. So, on my wrists, I got the word lion tattooed right here, and then I have the word sheep tattooed right here. Now, the story behind these tattoos is kind of funny. I wanted these tattoos to be small. I wanted it to be like this big. Right on my wrist only I could see it. When I went in and looked at the stencil, the like guy had them printed out like that big. And I was like, oh man, I was like, I think I want them smaller. And he looks at me, he's like, dude, you're a really big guy. He's like, like we want to we want to give it some like, wow, some shock and awe factor. And in my mind I was like, ah, I don't know. And then he's like, Come on, dude, moderation for cowards. I was like, all right, I'm gonna get him. So boom, slapped on these two huge words. At the time, there's, there's nothing on either one of these arms besides just these two tattoos. But what they mean to me is, you know, every day we wake up, we have a decision, okay? Do we be the lion or do we be the sheep? The lion's gonna be the go-getter, right? Taking all the, the struggle, the adversity, things coming at us and making the most out of those situations. Basically always being on the offense. Okay, not letting life just happen to you. You go out and attack your life. The sheep 
on the other hand, is letting all those obstacles defeat us, right? Staying within our comfort zone, uh, not going out and getting after it, having a victim mentality. You know, so every morning I wake up, right? Because, you know, uh, I'm a strength sport athlete, it takes me a couple minutes to get up out of bed. You know, I sit there and I just catch my breath and I'm like, what kind of day am I gonna have, right? Am I gonna be the lion or am I gonna be the sheep? And that's what I do every single day. And I hope that the sum of my actions is more in favor of being the lion than the sheep. Not to say I don't have those days, because we all do, but I look for overall what is going to be, you know, the majority of the days I have. So, you know, if that helps you guys, awesome. You know, use this uh, as part of your day to make the decision on who do you want to be. The other thing that's fun is when we have people in the gym and they're borderline on making a decision, maybe it's a PR, maybe it's going big for something, and you find people in the gym going, lion or sheep, lion or sheep. And usually, I would say 99% of the time, people always go with the lion action. Uh, so it's cool to see how it's blossomed into things outside. It just, you know, it's words on my arms and it's become part of the culture here at the gym. Uh, so. That's pretty much it for my tattoos today. My next video, I'm gonna be talking about some other tattoos I didn't discuss, uh, but I wanted to kind of mesh the leg training, some talks about the exercises, rest times, and then uh, give you guys a little bit of background on all my tattoos because it is a large uh, question that's often asked. Uh, but yeah guys, so what you saw in this video is the leg day from the hypertrophy program, which I'll put the link in the description. Uh, we'll link some other videos throughout the channel, or the throughout the, the video as well to other videos on the channel. Uh, but guys, we really appreciate your support. I appreciate Coach Matt, you know, giving me his time to help film these videos. He is training for an Ironman in September. So go over and head to his channel. He's, you know, documenting Ironman training and strength training, you know, showing that both can be done. Uh, it's really cool, it's a different take. Not a lot of YouTubers do that kind of stuff. So head over there, support him. Uh, and of course, if you go to zastrength.net and check out our programs, and articles and all that kind of stuff that means a lot to us as well uh, but that's all i have for today guys so be a lean mean track machine catch you guys next time peace